I got a barbecue restaurant next door to a bar that doesn't have a kitchen, and I got a window connecting the two spaces. Even though these are two separate businesses, I can increase the sales for the barbecue restaurant and increase the sales for the bar by perfecting this relationship. Excellent flavor, man. Nice bark on it. These guys can cook, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, man, try some of this brisket right here. Wow. Show me a dinner. Sure thing. Do you do styrofoam for here too, or, or just to go? Yes, we do styrofoam for here also. Okay. The big problem, you know, no presentation. What we're trying to do, guys, is we're trying to just set up plate presentations that make sense for the bar. Yes. Smaller portions, in a plate, not a to-go container. So tonight, we're gonna try to fix it up a little bit. Present me right now some ribs on this plate. Some sides with that too. Excellent. So cool, you're in, we'll make some money together? Yes. Thank you, senor. First one I kinda wanna touch on, these 1.75s are just killer. Right. There's really no real way to measure it, okay? The average 1.75 liter spirits bottle costs 20% less per ounce than the standard liter bottle. However, the bottle's heaviness and lack of pour spout causes bartenders to over pour by up to 30%. So what seems like a saving is actually costly and irresponsible. I'm gonna have you take our Captain Morgan one liter and I'm gonna have you pour an ounce and a half into one tin I'm gonna have you pour a ounce and a half in the other tin using your handle. We're gonna measure both. How are we feeling? Good, ready. Yeah? So let's do this now. So let's go after our handle. Okay. A little off on that one, I feel. Whoa! Oh. Damn! <laughs> let's test it out yourself. Oh my. It's challenging. I mean, it's heavy. Now let's do the same thing with our meter bottle. Oh, perfect. Look at you. So everything points to not using these. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye to the 175, right? Yes. Yay.